California-based defense technology company Shield AI introduced its new drone grouping technology, called VBAT Teams, earlier this week. Developed in collaboration with the Air Force's AFWorks Innovation Unit, the technology is considered a major advancement in autonomous drones and is receiving attention for its potential applications in the replicator program of the United States Department of Defense. Shield AI initially conducted experiments involving VBAT aircraft and artificial intelligence, AI, with AFWorks, culminating in a successful demonstration this summer. At the heart of the VBAT teams is the company's cutting-edge AI software, called HiveMind, designed to enable drones to operate autonomously in high-risk environments without GPS guidance or communications. In an interview at the Association of the United States Army Annual Conference, Shield AI co-founder and President Brandon Sang said VBAT teams are designed to operate with minimal human intervention. Humans would only specify the target or mission, and the VBATs would proceed autonomously, alerting operators only if they encounter situations requiring human attention. The VBAT team's first flight took place in April 2023, followed by an AFWorks demonstration in June that showed how HiveMind could autonomously control a trio of VBATs to monitor and conduct surveillance on simulated wildfires. Currently, VBAT teams consist of four drones, but Shield AI aims to double that number each year. Northrop Grumman is teamed with Shield AI, designer, and manufacturer of the VBAT platform, to provide best-in-class solutions for an expeditionary vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, UAS, capable of persistent aerial reconnaissance for U.S. Army Brigade combat teams, special forces, and ranger battalions. As a future vertical lift program, the FTUAS is the Army's first VTOL unmanned aircraft modernization effort. The VBAT, with its innovative, near-zero footprint vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, and long-endurance capabilities, is unlike any UAS on the market. Propelled by a single, duct, thrust-vectored fan, it takes off and lands in the style of a SpaceX rocket. Its fully operational logistical footprint fits into the bed of a pickup truck or inside a Black Hawk helicopter, significantly reducing the total cost of capability. U.S. and international customers view the VBAT as a flexible, cost-efficient platform capable of performing Group 2 UAS to Group 5 UAS missions and beyond. Earlier versions of the VBAT have supported operations for the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps since 2016. The new enhanced VBAT is simple to operate, has increased power, a reduced logistics size, and the capacity to carry a range of interchangeable payloads, including electro-optical infrared synthetic aperture radar, and EW systems, offering long-term adaptability in life cycle management. While the HiveMind software is capable of managing multiple VBATs, operational logistical constraints pose a limitation, particularly launching and landing multiple drones simultaneously. Sang stressed that unlike drones used at festivals or celebratory events, which are fragile and stupid drones, VBAT teams are smart and secure, designed to resist jamming and other interference. Initially, VBAT teams will focus on maritime domain awareness missions. However, their role may ultimately expand to include suppression of enemy air defenses, strike operations, escort missions, and logistical operations. Shield AI is also partnered with Northrop Grumman to offer best-in-class solutions for vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, unmanned aircraft systems. As the Pentagon seeks to deploy thousands of autonomous drones to counter emerging threats, Shield AI's VBAT teams offer a glimpse into the future of autonomous cluster technology in defense. With the ability to operate with minimal human intervention and robust resistance to external disruptions, VBAT teams mark a significant step in the path toward truly autonomous military operations.